Welcome to my 12 days of Christmas. Let's start by getting our tree. We came to get our tree. I marked it. Can you see? All I had was mask, so <laughs> I marked it with a mask so I would know which one it was when I came back. This is the farm where we were when I showed you all these trees. Look at them all. There's still quite a few here. This is the one that I picked out. It's not too big, not too small. I love it. So let's get chopping it down. It looks almost like it's got a blue hue to it, doesn't it? Yeah. So what do you think, guys? I think it's perfect. So let's load it up on the car and take it home. So we fully intended to put this tree on the top of the car, but the wind was blowing so hard we did not think that was a good idea. So I just climbed in the back and held on to the tree and we headed home. This tree is about five feet tall, we're guessing on that, but I'm 5'4", so I'm, I'm going to say it's about five feet. We'd originally put it in one base. You could probably tell this base is a different one, but the tree is so little that its trunk just didn't fit. It was too skinny for the base that we put it in, so we had to put it in another one that would maybe snug it up a little bit tighter and we still had to kind of rig that a little bit but i think that this is always the worst part of putting a tree up being underneath of it and getting it in the stand but we gave it some water to uh, start with and then i sprayed the tree with wilt stop what this does is it keeps your plants from drying out you can use it on uh, flowers, on greenery, on your Christmas tree, um, your wreath, your garland, whatever you want to put it on. It protects it from winter kill, uh, sunburn, windburn, uh, different damage. So it is naturally formulated to be natural and non-toxic and it's made from the resin of pine trees and it forms a, a clear film on the plant just protects it a little bit gives it a little bit of extra something to help reduce water loss during plant stress so i have a question for you what color lights do you prefer just plain white or multicolored my husband and i both prefer the white because i don't know i can speak for myself i think for me it's the simplicity my vision is not competing for the attention of every color that's on there. I just see the white and it's simple and I like that. I'd love to know how you guys feel about it. So leave me a comment below and let me know. On the day that we put this tree up, we also had plans to do family photos with our oldest son's family. His kids live downstate about five hours away from us so they were heading back after being up here for the thanksgiving holiday and we wanted to get some fun quality time in with them and lots of pictures stay tuned to the end of this video to see some of the fun we had capturing memories <laughs> we're placing on this tree have a lot of special meaning to us. Some were gifted by family members, some were made by friends, 
and others are baby's first Christmas ornaments. These are special, very treasured ornaments, so we place them on our bedroom tree. Mm-hmm.